everybody and welcome. My name is Dre Malik and today I'm going to be going over Serato Studio with you guys. Um, very, very cool program that I uh, just picked up. Um, and today I want to kind of show you some stuff that it does, uh, kind of show you guys how to navigate around it a little bit and uh, hopefully we can create something in the process. So uh, stick with me and uh, let's get started. Um, so first, we're in here. Um, this is Serato Studio. Um, I don't know if you've seen my video before, but I uh, had talked about their sample, um, which is an awesome product. And this is kind of like combining the best of both worlds when it comes to um, talking about um, the way that we um, make beats and the way that we sample and things like that. And the way they've lined it out is actually super cool because i'm able to play a lot of stuff just with my keyboard you know it's um it's dope you know i'm able to um i don't have to have a keyboard with me like the uh, an actual piano with me to uh create some stuff so today i'm gonna just co kind of go through it and um just create and uh hopefully you guys stick with me and um you guys learn something in the process too so here we go uh, so first, when you first load it up, it uh, actually shows um, a kit, which you can actually change. It looks like they come with a bunch of different kits. Um, let's say if we go all drum kits, these are the ones that it comes with. This is all stock. So um, I right now I have it on clean um, 909 drum kit. Let's go with a, um, what do you think? Let's go with the club. 808 drum kit all we do we just drag and drop and you see how everything changes i think that that's pretty dope and then we just go through and we can kind of listen to the sound mm -hmm. and as you can tell it actually has like some really good sounds too uh this is right out the gate it sounds pretty good so um, another cool thing is I saw that it's able to create random beats, basically, and drum patterns. Um, and I think that that's really cool. So we're going to get to use that soon. Uh, you, you got your record, you have your play, and then you have the size of the scenes. So if I wanted to increase scene size, it looks like we can go up to eight bars um, that it would create. So we would have eight bars of drums essentially um, this would be your selector tool so once it's selected we can go and we can drag it up or we can drag it down um, because I'm doing this one first I'll keep this one on top and then we'll get to what deck one is um, so let's see here on the sides we have uh, your Serato DJ library it looks like these songs are songs that I've worked on myself so with these I believe these are just some files that is pulling from your actual computer um, and then you have some projects that are already preloaded uh, like I said this one is um, it's all stock right now so we're able to see what's kind of going on there and then you have your drums this is all on the side i hope you guys are with me here so on the side we have drums and that's where we have our kits you have one shots that you can replace so if i'm in here and there's one thing that i want to change uh this here so if i hear mm, this hat i want to change the hat to something like this then what I'm going to do is I go and I find the hat, which is three, boom, and now it's replaced it there in the system. Um, and then we go to drum kits, and I think I already showed you this, but you just drag and drop something, and boom, it's going to change it. We haven't made a beat, so I'm not really married to any of these sounds, so that's totally fine. Um, we could go drum and bass kit, and as you see, it just keeps changing and get different sounds very cool um and then i also want to show you this too because we'll we might get into that as well 
which is our sounds. Um, you know, as producers, we have our own sounds that we like and things that we're used to and sounds that we just know works, you know. So I kind of took the liberty and um, added some of the sounds that I liked and I created a, a deck of my own that has some sounds in here as well. Um, and that would be down here. So let's keep going. You have your audio samples. We'll go back to the drum and bass kit too. Um, so we have your audio samples and these, I'm not gonna lie. When I heard them, I thought they were pretty decent, you know, like I said, all stock. Um, and let's see, we got Cabana Party. Let's play that one. if I can work with that in the time limit that I have going on, but I'm definitely going to have to get back to that one. That one's really cool. Um, more sounds. Everything is real crisp. I like those. I like them a lot. And then we have all the sample loops, and it comes with a couple more. Um, these also have um, uh, uh, drums, drum shots and stuff, too. So, you know, if you want some hi-hat. Yeah, if you want some hi-hat or anything like that, a loop, just to kind of get some inspiration going, we definitely got those that you can rock with. So, I'm digging it. Then you have your effects. Um, instruments, which, uh, you know, you have your strings. I don't know if it plays. Yeah, that's cool. So even if you don't have sounds in your own, you know, library or anything like that, you're able to still work. You know, you can still lay an idea down. Um, and the sounds aren't bad and you can still go in there and you can still tweak them with um, effects and things like that. And then you still have your plugin folder, which has all the plugins that you have that you may have downloaded, which are really dope. And then, oh, here's one thing um, has patterns as well. So let me see what that does. Hmm. Maybe drag it. Oh, I put it. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, okay. And stop. All right. That's dope. I think that that's cool. So it has a uh, it has patterns that you just drag and drop in there. Oh, that makes things super easy, you know. Um, shoot, let's throw something else in there. I just want to hear what, what it sounds like now. Let's get bold. So let's get bold. Let's see what's going on. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to take a kick. Because we got this loop going right now. So let's take this kick and let's replace it. Boom. Let's see what happens. Yeah. 
Close hats. Change the whip. Let's see what that happens when we change the whip. Okay, so boom. Now we have this sample. Where is it? Let's take this back and let's move it. Now let's play it. You see what I did though? It's um, we have this sample here in the original spaces, it's starting back here, which was taking a little bit too much time throwing off my rhythm. So we scoot this little arrow here and we're able to see now we don't have that little drag right there. And then Let's take the snap and let's make a snap instead of a clap. Let's see what that is. Boom. Let's play that. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're at a point where we have a little bit of a drum situation going. It's kind of cool, right? Um, let's add a sample. And let's see what we got. Um, let's go to all sample loops. And let's see what we have. What was the one that I liked? I think it was, was it the jazzy one? The jazzy one. Part of me just I got I got to I got to try it. I have to try it. I don't know. All right. So as you see it sped it up because the drum loop that we had created, which let me let me get rid of this. So, by the way, if you guys ever need to delete the drum deck out, let's say you created a drum deck like I was showing you guys, I had created one and I started adding my own sounds into it. And let's say that like that was the one that you didn't want to use or you didn't want to go through with it or whatever the case may be, you know, um, all you have to do is you highlight it. Boom. You see how the white box is around there. Boom. You hit delete and then it's gone. So it doesn't get all cluttery and stuff. It was so simple. It took me a little bit of a time, a little bit of time to figure out how I was supposed to get rid of it. I kept like right clicking and I couldn't figure out how to do it. So um, just so you know, you just highlight it, delete it, and it's out the way. So let me go back here. And as you see, I loaded in the sample, right? And as I load in the sample, it already brings up. It already brings up the slices i'm sliced up already it's already good so oh yeah and then that's also what i wanted to tell you too was now let's bring 
as you see, what we liked the the sample at was 85. It drags the sample in, and then it we already had the BPM at 120, so it slow it sped it up to 120. That's beautiful. Thinking about all right, well, we usually have to put a sample in, then you uh, drag it or whatever. You have to slide it to to make it um, fit with the time, and then you know you have to do a couple extra steps. This is like boom, drag and drop. It's already done for you. It's just gonna make it happen. Um, so now we have it at the tempo that this one is set out. So as you see, it already slices it up and it's labeled. This is what I meant when I said it was super cool. I'm able to go one, two, three, four. It's laid out on the key. So it's telling you exactly which one is going to trigger. There's no confusion. I don't, I, it's, it's laid out perfectly, you know? Um, so let's, let's start cooking up a little bit of some. So we already have a drum pattern. I don't know how it's going to work with this um, actual sample, but let's see if we can make something happen. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, that's wild. Let's let's do it. Let's let's do it because it sounds so. It sounds too easy. It sounds that's crazy to think about, but it seems like it's too easy. But let's let's do it. That was me doing too much, but so let's say I didn't like that. Boom. And we clear it. We clear it. We clear it. All my drums are already good. Let me go ahead and do this one more time. Go. So it is already set up. It's good to go. We're good to go. Let's see. Boom. Boom. Make sure it's all the way laid out. Boom. All right. So now I like I, I'm, I'm I'm making this on the spot with you guys. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Okay. This is crazy. But um now we're here. <laughs> What's going on? Let me. We don't. We don't need all those. So let's go to just with this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So <clears throat> now let's say we want to add an instrument to it. Um, this is what I think is amazing here. So, uh, they got dark short strings. 
That might work. Let's see. Check this out, though. So I put the I put the instrument in dark short strings, right? It says playing key pad shortcut keys. Playing key if I don't have it clicked in, which means that it's a gray and it's not purple. That's purple. You see what's happening? I got a I, I'm in I'm on a regular keyboard. <laughs> But if I want to play it in key, do you see what's happening here? I've dragged the keys in there. It already registers what key we got our sample in. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going here? And then we have dark short strings and it's playing it in key. So now when I want to go and I want to play something, which I'm not the best piano player in the world, and I'm playing it on a keyboard anyway, right now, a typing keyboard, not a piano keyboard. Um... I might actually sound pretty good. So let's see if I can sound pretty good with a, a keyboard and a stock sound that just came in here and a random sample. Let's check it out. I want to try something. So let's let's check it out. Let's see if that works. But it was fast. It was fast. I don't play keys. And you know what I'm saying? It had a little cool melody going. And in do part two, playing key. That helped me, you know? Um, so, yeah, cool part is, you, okay, you have another instrument. It says drop instrument here. Uh, plugins, let's say we have instruments. Um, and I want to add a flute I want to add a flute in here you see I'm not now I'm not in stock sounds I'm using something else but uh, let's see what this is that might be all right let's see and
let's try that. instrument you see how i'm adding scenes so i'll get to that in just a second um so i'm gonna add this real quick and hopefully i can get it in before i'm out of time because i think that this is so dope and man 30 minutes is just not enough i gotta i need i need more time with y'all uh to show you how much stuff this actually does and i'm having too much fun man i'm having too much fun so uh let's see I'm in playing key. Hell no. Is that the sound that I want? We'll make it work. Let's see. That's not the sound that I want. It's just not. It is not the sound that I wanted, and I can't do it. I can't do it to you guys. So, let me see. Let's clear that, and let's try that. some of that off so i'm able to change this a little bit in here so go and we're gonna turn it down just a smidge <clears throat> Super dope, man. This plugin has everything that you really need to to create something pretty dope. Um, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys is how this works. Um, so this is your mixer section right here, where all those sounds and stuff. <laughs> Thank you. 
super dope stuff, man. So once again, what we have here is Serato Studio. It's crazy. Love this plugin um, or uh, workstation, really. Um, and there's just so much more to do. And hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you go and pick up a copy because, um, man, this is some some pretty powerful stuff and I'm ready to dive in and and learn more about it. So thank you guys for joining me and you guys have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time it is for you guys. And once again, I'm Dre Malik. You can follow me on Instagram at Dre Malik official. Um, and that's on Instagram. So you guys have a good one. Bye.